Right. Audio on. Let's double check. Make sure everything's live. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Power by Soul, and we are back with the Hanged Man. Ah, uh, yes, generic YouTube intro number one. A dirty bed. The dark red stain on it. Something under the bed. Oh no. My beloved Alec. I heard you were being moved to the back building in two weeks. I suppose I'll never get to meet you again. If you can still understand me at all, read this letter carefully. One week from now, I'll come to see you. Sit to the rightmost seat in the visiting room. I'll have a knife put under the table. Take it with you in secret. There will be two there, but take only one. Arkin will bring you the other one. Arkin will bring the other one to you if you fail. Arkin has told me he'll definitely get this letter to you. Once you've read this, hide it. And don't show it to anyone. If anyone finds it, it will mean trouble for Arkin, your loving mother. The flying fuck is that about? That is uh, a bit mad, but at least now I know where to go. Okay. Alright, so that would explain why I can open the visiting room. Dining room. So what do I go to go into the visiting room again? Here, right? Yeah, so you sit in the rightmost seat. That's not the right most seat. There's something between the table and floor. Oh, actually, hold on. It depends on the direction you're facing. Obtained a knife. I am going to save because getting a knife is never usually... I have a feeling I'm going to encounter something as soon as I go in that chair. Actual flying fuck was that? Well, falling fuck would probably be the operative word there. Okay. Said. Things seem to be happening upstairs, so let's head back upstairs. Okay. Let's head back to the bloody room. That was not there before. Newspaper? Dated a long time ago. Is this always here? No, it was not. Early last night, December 5th, at Deepwoods Hospital. Also, we now know the place where it is. Alec Jones was found dead by a staff member. A knife stuck deep in Alec's chest. So the police are investigating it as a suicide. Since the patient Alec could not have possessed the knife, they believe that Nina Johnson, his mother and sole guardian, gave it to him with the help of staff during visitation. That is fucked up. Hey, I just realised something. He's not speaking. Is 
and I still have the door. Yep. Okay, well we discovered what the knife was for. So I suggest we just go back and forth until something happens. Pop! Oh, pop! No! to it. Maybe there's something I can use. Fucking knew it. Yeah boy. Wait, hold on, what does it say? There's a, there's a hole near the bottom of the wall. Light is coming through the neighbouring room. Uh, I'm going to drop a fat save. And then I'm going to go in. Go through the hole. Huh? Uh, hey, it's the hobo. Y you were the one in the hall earlier, huh? I thought about talking to you, but you were praying. He's more like my friend, kind of. That's a cute friend you have. Um, but still kind of weird to have a rat friend. I mean, they c can't talk, right? Pop can talk. Oh, r really? I've never met a t talking rat before. Hey, Pop, want to say hi to Ed? Your name's Ed? Yeah, sh short for Edward. And you? Well, do you live here, Ed? Nah, I have a home, but I can't go back. I'm s staying here for a while. I would be leaving soon, but I've g got something to do. So I'm still not sure. Uh, Pop! He ran off. I guess he hates me. Were you l looking for him? S sorry I made him run. I'd like to help look, but I'm busy s searching too. What are you searching for? A notebook. It's small and black. I thought it was in this room, but I can't find it. Wait a minute. Well, hmm. I'll look for Pop, but I'll bring that if I find it. Could you catch Pop if he comes back here? Oh, sh sure thing. Thanks, Will. I have a notebook. I found it. Was the notebook really? Yeah, it sh should have been. Maybe it was in some other room. I'll have to look around later. You're making a real mess there. I got hungry, so I need you. I think your friend wanted my leftovers. There's a hole in the floor. So, yeah, go through the hole. If I head to this was the last room in the looping room. The swan have been in here though. I can't see a notebook. Huh. That's the only thing I could really think. Maybe it's in the bathroom. It was it fell through the floor. 
It could have anyway. That's how bad would look for his book. I'm assuming that's the mix. What the fuck was that? Ooh, I love this game. I can keep thinking I see shot the corner of my eye. But I probably didn't see anything, I'm probably seeing things. So Okay, let's head back into the room. Oh no, that's not a hole in the floor, that's where the uh... Hmm. Maybe it's the one upstairs. Oh, man. <laughs> right, let's head up. Okay, right. Won't open. Box from the inside. And won't open. There's nothing there. Okay, well we've got progress. <laughs> oh no, we get to the other side from here. Oh, thank fuck, it's a... Uh... Oh, boy! Am I just dead? This is why I hate the dark. Because there's always someone... There's always something there. Oh, okay. Okay, well, good night. Yes? It's nothing. If you say so. Good night. It's a mime! <laughs> it's a mime! Why? When it's night, the room goes dark. He always appears. He never says a word. He's just there. He must be a mime. I tried to call for mum, but it's pointless. He disappears when the light comes on. Who is he? Does he want to tell me something? Is he my friend? Shut up. Talking inside of a glass. <laughs> or is he my or is he? Mm. You 
got guts to take a nap here, kid. Hey, it's Kef. You! What did you come here for? Did you find your rat? Just leave him. I'm sure he'll have a fine life out in the wild. Now, how about you give up and head home, Mr. William Morton? Huh? Why do you... Word of advice. When you run from home, don't bring your student ID. Even if you do hide it in your jacket. You can't just take people's things. So what is it you skipped school and came all this way for? How about this, then? What kind of business do you have with David? I'm asking you what you want with David, resident at 135 Womack Street. What's your relation to him? I'm his cousin! No, stop snooping already! One more thing. Are you receiving any threats? Huh? Demon child, huh? That's one worrying letter to be walking around with. Give that back! Answer my question. Or would you rather be lectured by a scary officer at the police station? I'm not being threatened. I think. Huh? I said give it back. Why do you know David? Does he know you? Met him a while back. Now we go drinking sometimes. Oh, that's so what's good. What's your story? Good to know they're still friends. It's none of your business. Really? Well, go off and look for your rat. You come with me. Well, and why should I? Because I'm... Hmm? Speak up, kid. Because I'm scared walking around here on my own. <laughs> you just laughed, didn't you? I'm not laughing. Liar. <laughs> oh, I'm the liar. Why would you be getting scared now? You were waltzing around here just fine earlier. Because Pop was with me. That's why I could still handle it. Okay. If Pop's there, I'm fine. If I listen to Pop, it will always be okay. I should have known. I shouldn't have come here. Way out to this town. And all this snow. Pop tried to stop me. He said I shouldn't. But I kept insisting. You hit your head, kid. If you really think your rats talk to you, you ought to be in the hospital. Give you such an asshole. He doesn't come back. What do I do? It's so cold. And I'm all alone. What if. Hey now, don't cry. You're 14, right? Can't go crying that easily. I'm not crying. Listen, this building's full of rats. I've seen a bunch along the way. Does yours have any identifying features? His right leg's bent. There's a little fur missing on it. All right. If I catch him, I'll bring him to you. But don't get your hopes up. Uh -huh. You can keep searching some. But be ready to give up if you don't find him. We're not staying here past nightfall. Got that. You won't come with me? Do I look like I came here for a relaxing stroll? I'm busy with work here. Just, who are you? Oh. I'm a detective. And why are you here? That, my friend, is none of your business. Well, what's your name? I get on your way. Hi, guy. Ghost in the bell. Hey, stop digging around in there. Oof. D don't threaten me. Is that photo of yours? That's. This building, right? Not mine. I'm borrowing it. Although, I doubt I'll give it back. Um, hey, what kind of building is this anyway? A hospital? 
It was an old mental hospital. It got shut down ages ago, though. After millionaire Jim Cork bought it for us, it was repurposed as a homeless shelter for a few years. Shelter? A place the homeless could call home. Was that incident 15 years ago thing true? What was it about? Sorry, I'm not really one to tell spooky stories to people liable to wet their pants. Oh my god! <laughs> this building's strange. There are these shadows or something. Locked doors opening up all of a sudden. Locked doors? Well, that'd be me. Huh? Unlike you, little trespasser, I have permission to be here. So I also borrowed some of the keys. Of course it's old, so lots been lost of time. But still... There are these shadow things. They're moving all around. Oh yeah. Shadows everywhere. Because it's dark. And you're freaked out. So you think they're moving. Ah, uh, very true. What? Go. This is busy. Ah, oh, he's... The first two things you can... <laughs> William Morton. Ah, oh, so you got a second name now. It's open now. Hey, Keith. Did you unlock the store? Who knows? Must have been unlocked already. This door was well locked. Oh boy. I just keep saying, I keep panic saving. Obtain the key. Okay. Uh, items. Key. Document room. Where is that? Area map 2. Um, exam room, exam room, back room. Room at one. Document room. First floor. Execution here. Why is Keith here? Keith's usually like fucking PI level, so something, some. You must be investigating the murders here. I should probably go check on, uh. What's his face? See if you found anything. Oh, he's gone. And I'm not landing. I now can't go over there. Okay. Now I can't go over there. Okay, then. Nice. Just halfway through. Alright, uh, let's keep moving. First floor document room. Okay, so where's this? So this is dining room. So, area map one. Dining room. Oh, so this Kitchen storage. Uh, gonna pause it, gonna quickly nip for a wee. Uh, be right back. And we're back. I am refreshed. Okay. Adventure. Right. Document room. Document room. Get the staff lounge. So the document room in the reception. Uh, this is the office. And that means that this is the document room. Pop? Pop? God, I found you. C 
Come on down, Pop. Let's go. This place is just... You can't get down? Wait there. I'll get you down. Interesting that we can't hear him. Oh, yes! Tarot cards! I fucking knew it. Oh my god, that makes me... That actually makes me... The chariot. The emperor. The magician. Justice. The moon. The hermit. Judgment. The tower. The hanged man. That is not the hanged man. I guess it is. Death. Okay, I see. Oh my god, I don't know why I did it like that. God damn it. Why did you run up? Tabloid. Tragedy befell the homeless, the happy. The happy murders. You were familiar with the incident that occurred in the deep woods outside this Marvel Hill. Deep Woods Hospital, once accommodated to patients with mental illnesses, was abandoned in 1917 and long neglected. Later purchased woods and all but one Jim Cork, a famous millionaire and philanthropist. Cork made use of the old hospital as a shelter for the homeless, calling in priests, opening a chapel. Running a social action proof. Yet all this came to an end. A gruesome incident to come to be called the Happy Murders. On the winter's day, the priest at the chapel noticed something amiss with the shelter's residence. He questioned them that it was suspiciously silent. He discovered five corpses in the building. Calls of death all differed from stabbing to strangling. Strangling, they all fell in different locations. That was a common feature. The bodies were all in plain sight, hanging from a rope in the room. The police questioning five men the residents confessed to the murder. And that as their motives they gave various reasons, having an argument, having never liked the victim. They had not spoken a word about the bodies hanging from ropes. The police announced that the recent corpse most recent corpse was three days dead. And the oldest corpse went dead for three weeks. And it's in something bizarre. In the three weeks since the first murder, four other murders took place. Homeless residing in the shelter decided not to report them, but to go on pretending they didn't see a thing. After the five criminals confessed the state of their motives, they all made this final comment. Now I've become happy. Cork had the facility completely shut down, the homeless living there all dispersed, without even speaking of what happened. Deepwoods Hospital has not been demolished nor renewed since the happy murders. It just simply sits there quietly in the forest. Now... the heating on and it makes the cold fuck off. What's this? Is this the incident from 15 years ago Keith mentioned? Yikes, I shouldn't have read that. Me reading stuff like that only makes things worse. Obtained a tabloid. Oh, so after all that you still take it with you. Uh, do, do, do. 
do do do. Pop, why are you running away? Do you hate me now? Hey. Do anything in that hole? Okay. Oh boy. That doesn't look ominous at all. Fire extinguisher. Oh my god, this place is huge. Counseling room, counseling room, counseling room. Toilets. Nursing station, lobby, supply shed, pediatrics, nurse. Animation rooms, medical storage, doctor storage, real storage tank, control room, EV. Okay, did I take the map? Very map free. This is huge. What's that? Oh, I thought it was an elevator. What's that? Something on top of the flower pot. That's not ominous at all. Duh, headless doll? Why is it headless? There's string tied around it. Wait, is that hair? Hey! Sheesh, what does it take to get your attention? Are you just ignoring me? Fucking hell, Sophie, why are you here? You're well, right? I don't have the wrong person, do I? I'm glad I got it right. Okay, let's get going. You'll catch a cold. Stop! Stay away from me. You're that cafe girl, aren't you? Why do you know me? And you stirred a hole for me earlier. I asked David. You're his cousin, aren't you? Huh? You asked D David? I'm David's friend. He's worried, don't you know? Okay, let's head home. H hey, wait a sec. I said, wait! Let go, you stupid girl! Jeez, you're noisy. I'm just doing what I was asked, okay? What do you mean, asked? I explain yourself. So, after I was done with work, I called David. I was like, I had a customer who looked just like you. Then David said that was his cousin, who came to visit but disappeared, and he'd been looking. So I decided to help him look. A truck driver knew the freeway said he saw a boy head into the woods alone, so I wondered if he might have been here. David's been super worried, so what were you thinking, visiting him and then disappearing? Oh, be quiet. I was going to go back eventually, but that isn't important right now. What's that mean? I got separated from my friend in there. I just, I can't leave until I find him. Huh, you came here with your friend? David didn't say anything like that. Alright, in that case, I'll help you look. Huh? Really? I mean, there's no way you can just ditch your friend. Let's get you reunited and leave quick, okay? If it starts snowing hard, getting back will be rough. Hey. <laughs> We've acquired Sophie again. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I take her upstairs to Keith. Let's test a theory. But, odds are, he'll, he will not be there. <laughs> yep, knew it. Let's at least see what he was looking at. Uh, for shot, sure. uh, for shot sure, indeed. But I guarantee you there'll be an interesting interaction between the two of them when they run into each other. Because Sophie will be like, old man, and then you'll be like, mm. so, uh, 
Keith has A grade sarcasm. It's quality. Right, so back to that room. Do I have a knife? I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I can open the doll. Maybe I can open the. What the fuck? Okay. Maybe I can open the doll. It's what is? The fuck? The, there was a doll here. But it's gone. Was there really? You weren't just seeing things? You're doubting me? I really saw it. Jeez, no need to shout. You're a weird man. Just rot, Larry. <laughs> what the hell's this? No explanation. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that is an open gate. So Keith's been through here. Okay, alright. And that's a circuit breaker, I think. No, it's been left on the board. Dr. Dennis. Shninia? Ch Shania? Taking a long vacation for recuperation purposes. Okay, good for him. Probably won't do this. Okay, a 75% chance I'll just find his corpse just fucking dead. Give me this bucket. Trash can. There are other trash cans that are wooden buckets. Okay, right. This is open now. Ah, oh, this is the toilets. I don't like how you can go in each one of these. I don't like it, man. So this gives me the heebie jeebies. I feel myself necessary. I feel it necessary to save. Oh my god. I know my flashlight's gonna start catching shit out of the corner as I'm going places. Hey, seven agent rooms! Why? <laughs> uh, yeah, we can go for another couple minutes. Ooh, I see something cool. Okay, never mind. I thought it was cool, it was just uh, apparently mundane trash. Sandbags. Huh? Mr. Keith? Why are you here? Do you two know each other? Hmm, I guess. Why are you here, Mr. Keith? Bored? Do you think I take my walks in places like this? It's for work, obviously. You're the one who needs to explain herself. David said he was looking for his cousin, so I'm helping. But said cousin says he got separated from his friend, so I thought I'd help him look. Nothing gets you to shy away, huh? I say you should just get out of here. Unless you two forget, this is technically private property. Yes, sir. Sophie, get it for him. I can't reach it either. Sure. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Keith. It's the famous Chu. Sure. <laughs> Whenever Keith actually does something. <laughs> Screwdriver, a crowbar, and a hammer. Hmm. That seems familiar. The last time we were in a hospital, we ended up. With oh no, that was a uh, law school. So yeah, but we had to choose between them. Hey. 
What's your connection with Kate? He saved me when I got involved in an incident a little while ago. He's also my dad's client right now. Client? Papa's job covers things like inheritance, and I guess he wants to write a will and testament. A will and testament? He seems pretty young still. Old or not, people die. I guess so. Hey, is he really a detective? He's kind of nasty and stern and scary. He's not a bad guy? I heard that. She's <laughs> in the distance. No, not a bad guy. Not a good one either, mind. Well, which is it? I mean, every time we meet, he always teases me. Like calling me matchstick or starving chicken. <laughs> His quality. That's terrible. Right? His quality. I, I, I'm literally, I mean it. Keith has just got A grade, A grade banner quality. I'm gonna move this fucking mouse. Get the fuck. Let's see. Oh, I don't wanna be here. This is the la oh. I don't wanna be in here. This is bad. Let's use all the dismembered dolls. The boy who cried wolf. There once was a shepherd boy who looked after a flock of sheep. One day he felt bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cries and rushed out of the village to help the shepherd's boy. When they reached him, they asked, where is the wolf? The shepherd's boy laughed loudly, ha ha ha, I fooled you all, I was playing a trick on you. A few days later, he again cried, help, help, wolf, wolf. The villagers rushed up the hill to help him, and again they found the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then, sometime later, a wolf really went into the field. The wolf attacked one of the sheep, and another, and then another. Then the shepherd's boy ran towards the village, shouting, help, help, wolf, help, somebody. The villagers heard his cries, but they laughed because they thought it was just another trick. The boy ran to the nearest villager and said, A wolf is attacking the sheep. I lied before, but this time it's true. Finally, the villagers went and had a look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away and many sheep dead lying on the grass. Huh, I haven't heard that rendition before. Oh, wait, no, 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 actually, no, that is right. I, for some reason, as a, as a uh, even more extreme rendition that the wolf ends up killing the kid. And it's uh, really, it's a rather much more morbid tale. It's always an important one to learn as well. I certainly don't, don't, don't lie. One day a shepherd boy saw wolves meeting other wolves. They were talking about attacking the villagers and eating them. The boy said nothing to the villagers. A few days later, lots of wolves attacked the village. The wolves ate lots of villagers. The boy watched the villagers eating and shouted, It serves you right. You wouldn't believe me, so you got punished. That's great. Fucking yikes. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to call it here. Uh, it's a piece of paper called A Conversation with Miss Lisa Gardner. Sam, Lisa, could you tell me about the pictures? Is that the boy that you cried wolf? Yes, that's right. It seems to have a different ending. Did you come up with that? Yes, that's right. Why did the boy let the villagers die? Because they didn't believe him. The boy who... The boy was the one who lied. 
isn't he the one who did something wrong? Grown-ups lie all the time, too. And all the villagers died. No, four of them are still on the run. What are they doing now? I don't know. But a wolf better eat them soon. Why should they be eaten? Once all the bad grown-ups are gone, we can go anywhere. Now oh, that, that is slightly morbid. And that, on that morbid note, we will leave it for now. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, there'll be more episodes coming out soon. Um, so yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, after all that said, adios.